so as per our plan two stored procedure so what to suggest what should i take the parameter here in this stored procedure roll number because roll number is the unique identifier Similarly, what will be the other one? Um, should I say update uh, student data? How many parameters here we are expecting guys? Three. Okay. One will be roll number itself. Based on that, we will give the where clause and one is name varchar 100 and one is course here what should i write update whatever table name set name equal to add the rate name comma course equal to at the red course fair role equal to at the red role all right now let's go to our um, program and copy paste it first time i will copy paste this because first one is the gate operation isn't it so come here and say get students on not students i will say student on roll on roll line roll number or whatever so perhaps here i need one roll number and here instead of list of this i have to pass only this isn't it because no need for list of this now what else you need this also without this it should be simply object and here also simply object instead of list because if you pass roll number only one student will come now for that roll number roll number is not repeating so now store pressure has to be changed which store pressure i have to take this one display student on roll number and what else you think the changes required loop is not required this time don't you think because only one student might have come and that too I have already created an object so why not I will take it here itself and this std I will return back here now change these things that means instead of uh, saying stood of role I will say dt of role because dt is having only one row now so you just say dt dot row sub 0 row sub 0 why because only one row will be there from that get the roll number similarly this dt dot row sub 0 you have to use here as well and here as well and here no need for adding your object is ready from the data table that means we collected the data into data table which will be always one row only that's why I use row number 0 and then collected and put it in my object and finally I am returning that object so this one we have to put it where in the abstraction isn't it every function you define you have to put it in the abstraction so go here and put that in the abstraction as well so what are the changes I did as of now in stored procedure I added two stored procedure and in repository also I am going to add two functions right so one function we already did 
another function will be as similar as our insert operation. So, this insert operation will be copy pasted because that is also connected architecture, this is also connected architecture and here I will say update student data. All right. Now, this stored procedure line number 125 has to be changed to our new stored procedure which is update stored data. So, come here and update it. So, same get functionality I copy pasted instead of all student I said only the way based on that roll number you return me one student and insert operation I copy pasted and said instead of two parameter why do not you give three parameter. So, what will be that third parameter ROLL ok ROLL role. So, usually I prefer copy pasting because spelling mistake will not be there. If you type may be capital R, small r all these things may happen. Now, go for it done. What else you need all other things is good and this one also you have to put in the abstraction is not it. So, go there and put it. So, your database stuff is done, repository stuff is done, abstraction stuff is done. What next as per the sequence of de development? Controller. Okay. So, in controller just like your create have two methods right, your update will also have two methods. So, let us come here and copy paste it. One is for displaying the screen one is for submitting the modified data. So, this will be edit. Any name you can give does not matter, but whatever name you are giving, you have to give that in the you know hyperlink, then only it will come here. No? All right. So, either hyperlink or default action method, you can give directly and you can run edit also no problem. So, here you go. Now, you say um, edit. One more small thing we will do okay, that when exactly we want this operation. Okay, when exactly we want this operation. Somebody will say Chalo, display one blank screen. In that blank screen you know display current role of the user sorry current uh, um, role number of role number of the user. So, that user will at least come to know that whom I am going to modify, then let him modify, then submit it. HTTP post will execute it and submit it. So, previously this STUD was having only name and course. This time, do not you think role number, name and course, all three is required? Absolutely. Okay. Now, what I need to do? I will pass one role number. Imagine I want to hard code one role number here. Okay you can collect it from the screen also. I am just hard coding the roll number, you, you can collect it from screen as well, no problem. So, what I will do? I will say, okay, I have a roll number called uh, uh, integer roll equal to, um, I will take a positive case which is already existing. Okay. So, let me see what are all roll number existing. Imagine you want to change roll number 3 name to some specific name Sumit suppose S U M I T okay, for roll number 3. Currently, what I am doing? I am not using any parameter here like R O L L directly hard coding it here, but if you want to pass it from the URL, you can take a parameter also from here. Okay. That for that roll number, I want to see the data, something like that. Okay. So, I am hard coding just to complete the process, but in real time you have to use this parameter guys. Okay? So, that somebody can send from the screen that why my roll number is 3, please take it and give me the data. But to be focused on our process crude operation, I am not taking it from screen, I am hard coding some roll number. Suppose my roll number is 3, I think we discussed about 3, right? So, 3 is a valid roll number and I want to say for this 3 roll number, can you please give all the data? First of all, I want to see. 
after that only i will take a call that whether to modify not to modify and what all so now you tell me if i want to collect all the data of this roll number 3 what should i do if i are really understanding this flow i want to collect only that student's detail roll number 3's detail repository we have to call isn't it this function we have to call don't you think so it will take input parameter as roll number and it will give me the output as that roll number's detail so do that so what should i do already we might have object here a repo object so using that repo object you call get student on roll number the moment you take it it will give you intelligence saying that hey you pass the roll number just pass it make sense now what is missing in line number 74 we need to collect that data what it is returning so what it is returning repo student object is returning so collect that data equal to make sense any confusion as of now so repository function take the roll number and gives back me one student's data now to display that on the screen what should i do don't you think i need to pass it inside this view bracket then only it will be displayed on the screen right but you have not yet created the view for that don't you think you have to create it so who will help me how can i create the view now already you might be having one folder named as student detail because controller name is student detail only thing is you created one action method called edit so i have already already told you always the view name should be equal to action method name so go to your view inside student detail and go to add and add a view add the view it will ask you what is the name of the view you just keep the view name as edit okay now it will create one view and there what should be the model anybody what should be the model a repo student right not the i enumerable of repo student it should be simply repo student because we are returning simply repo student object so let it create then we will have that model at the top so add the right model uh a repo student so that repo student will be having some path right so full path we need so give that full path that means name space name because it is belongs to another project give it done now i want to display all those data whatever came here uh into the repository isn't it this one uh where is that Uh, this one line number 76 controller so this stud will of course will come here because we mentioned that class name here and it will store where in modl capital m modl so now i have to take one by one data from that capital m modl and plug into some text box don't you think then only user will have a chance to modify na so if you display in a label user can only see it he cannot modify it so this time you can plan to display them in a text box right so now you people are going to help me to design a form which will help me to have three text boxes uh, sorry two text boxes one is called name one is called course one text box roll number also you can keep but that is not hard and fast but the modifiable things is name and course so that you can plan so using html dot begin form 
curly bracket open and close. We need two text boxes definitely. Three text boxes you can take also no problem. Okay. Somebody is saying hello. Not able to hear me, guys. Am I audible? Anybody can confirm? Okay, okay, all right. I saw somebody speaking something. Okay, so here we will have some three text boxes now. Okay, you can have one hidden field also if necessary. If you want to say that, why roll number I don't want to show, right? I want to keep it in a hidden field. You can use hidden field also. If you want to say, no, 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 I want to display also roll number, everything, then you can display also, no problem. So, anyway, we are not taking that roll number na, in the back end. So, roll number also you can display or you can have a hidden field also. Because, why I am saying hidden field is suggested? Because, if you take a test box, user will also try to modify that roll number sometimes. Got it or not? So, in this case, in such situation, if you, somebody doesn't want, user should be able to modify that roll number, then you can go for display for also, you can go for hidden field also. Display for means simply display, don't modify, it's like a label. Hidden field means don't even display, keep it only in the back end, in that, you know, browser back, not on the browser front. So, see if I will take the hidden field, how I am doing it, okay? If I will take a hidden field, how I am doing it. So, if you want to take a hidden field, just like this you have to take. Input, type equal to hidden you have to write. Okay? This is a HTML control guys, nothing else. And you have to say name equal to something. Let us say HT role. Same thing you give ID equal to that because some browser supports name, some browser supports ID. So, advisable always ID and name should be same and then take something called value equal to. When you say value equal to that time instead of hard coded value, if I will give your value equal to 1, then it will be always 1, do not you think. But what I want, I want uh, this time which roll number. So, I can do it like this, you know, uh, at the rate model, in that model there will be something called roll number now. So, I will collect that roll number and plug it here, got it and close bracket. So, it will say, whatever came from the controller to view inside STUD, can you plug that into a hidden field? So, that uh, it will not be visible to user on the screen, but it will be still there behind the browser. So, that when I will click the submit button, my roll number will definitely go, no problem. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, it will not be visible to user so that he cannot change the roll number. Just for best practice, otherwise, if you want to take text box also, absolutely fine, no problem. Okay. Just for process understanding, if you want to take a text box also, it is absolutely fine. Uh, now, course and name, both I will take text box only. Right. So, should I say name, that means name of a student and below that I will have some text box. So, this time I will take text box for or text box guys. Whenever there is model based view, you have to take text box for. Okay? So, n such that n dot name. Similarly, you can go for one more something called course. So, here you can say course, all right. Achha, this thing you can do in two different syntax, both are same only, okay. ASP dash, you know, you can say uh, text box or input or hidden after ASP dash, not ASP colon. Huh? ASP dash. So, writing ASP dash and writing input both are same, but when you are using HTML helper classes, it is definitely better than either ASP dash or even input type equal to something something. 
so absolutely fine even if you say at the rate html dot hidden for also you will get hidden also will get absolutely fine if you want hidden for you can take hidden for also just like this you will same syntax two different way i am just telling so you can say okay h stands for h dot roll number make sense that means writing this and writing this both are same only difference is here manual you are typing everything here you are saying bhai automatically you take so i will keep both the syntaxes but i will comment it for a minute because i don't need both any one of this you can use okay either you comment this and use the other one or you comment this performance wise i, I will suggest go for html helper uh, but yeah uh, if you somebody says that okay i will use pure html text box html input type hidden etc absolutely fine it is not like one two second difference or something it will kind of microsecond you can say difference right so first i will tell you to catch the value from this kind of hidden field what you have to do then i will comment this line and uncomment this line and i will tell you if you are using html helper how to catch the value that means in controller it will make little difference right so let me tell you that so come here uh maybe i copy pasted i have to just change it so dot course and here also course right then what button so come here and put on button also this is all about update right so should i say update if you do like this see what happens you will miss one thing then i will tell you how to resolve it line number 16 you focus you have not used html helper okay so you have used manual html control to just store the data and transport it but you will face one issue here first i will generate that issue and show you so that you can remember that if i am using this kind of test hidden field what will be the way if i am using this kind of hidden field what will be the way so let's see put a breakpoint here okay and put a breakpoint here as well and i will say that edit is my default action method so let's go to program.cs where is this and say that uh, edit is my default action method run it i hard coded one three but if you want to pass it from the browser that also possible you have to take one input parameter in line number 71 okay you came here now you are passing that 3 now i will put a breakpoint directly in the fill function and continue f10 some parameter we have missed right that roll number has to be supplied as a parameter don't you think so let's put that as a parameter here so com dot parameters dot add with value so my parameter name is add the rate roll this parameter i'm talking about we have not passed from the c sharp side so pass that parameter value will come from where rol which has been collected from the 
controller you can see right now run it again that is the reason why you should always uh, unit test one round debug it So, it is saying that currently logged on, I mean, whatever the roll number you passed, his name is this. So, I will change it to suppose um, something. Okay. This time it will not work. I want to show something. Here I have put the breakpoint in HTTP post. Not yet. Put a breakpoint here and put a breakpoint here as well. Okay. Now come. Okay. Uh, if you see here, have a look. Roll number is zero. Why you think roll number zero? Mm, because your hidden field ID is HT roll that we have not captured. So if your hidden field is like this, then you have to capture it like this as a separate parameter. But if your hidden field is like this, suppose I will use like this. Both syntax you understand so that you can use anything. So, let us run that now. Oh, I did not run commenter. Uh, that is why it is saying error. Uh, yeah, sorry. So, first I used the first one, commented second one. Now, I am using second one, commenting the first one. So, before positive case of the testing, just little bit more about the hidden field I am saying. So, I said DDD instead of CCC suppose. Update it. Now, come here. Can I see? Roll number 3 came, which is expected. Okay. So, what do you understood by this? If you are using HTML helper class, then you have a provision for binding with your uh, strongly coupled property of the model. But if you are taking manually, then something like city, state, country, which is not really part of the model, but one additional data has to be transported. In that case only, you should use like this. Now, imagine you use like this, line number 16, but still you want to collect the data. Let me show you that as well. Okay. Still, you want to collect the data because you have plugged something now here, value equal to whether country name, roll number, whatever it is, you have plugged it, it is containing, but only difference is here it is strongly coupled, here it is standard one. So, in standard one, whichever ID you are using, that you have to collect here separately. It will be your extra responsibility, just like this, comma, string, this is called query string parameter. Query string parameter always should be in string only. Regardless it is decimal or integer or whatever, it should be string. Now, after collecting string, then you typecast it as per your requirement. That is different story. Now, let us run it and see what is happening. So, if it is model based data, always advisable use either templated or strongly coupled with model based. 
that means html helper if it is independent data there is nothing called model if you are using html helper go for the standard html helper if you are using simple html control without using html helper then use as a separate query string parameter then only you can receive it so uh, this time i say suppose something like k k k k okay click on update go here check it out i think that extra par, you know extra character also has come you have to give a space then it will not come now student will get we take this and inside this strongly coupled data roll number will be zero but in a separate parameter that roll number will come okay so that slash white is coming you know i continuously write that slash also right after that so that will not come if you are giving a space so this is how you have to catch a separate parameter in case you are using simple parameter not the strongly coupled parameter so for our requirement this time which one you think better html helper so let's comment this out and use but just for your understanding i'm keeping it and i'm on commenting the second one now let's run it so i'll put a breakpoint here again and then run it so in fact this time i don't need the second parameter right because i'm using a little html helper so i have to remove that if you keep also nothing it will be blank you know additional parameter but i will remove it it will not show error even though that is not existing it will not show error but the value will be null acha break point is there na so it is stuck there so now let's modify this ccc to something else let's say ppp or something okay click on update it will come here now check i am expecting all three data updated data then f10 f11 f10 acha we have not changed that name of the function also guys after copy pasting nobody has marked it don't you think here you have to change the name of the function also update student data na okay because i have copy pasted insert so it is still insert run it again continue continue again let it display the existing data then you modify it imagine i modify to something like you know uh, ttt and click on update now check it out make sure that it is collecting the updated data from the view to the controller then proceed line by line f11 and come here then we defined three parameter role name as well as course f10 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 and f10 so check it out n is greater than 0 so it will be success and then go back and come here if it is success then return to display student data check it out simply continue simply continue so 
this third guy we changed from CCC to TTT, right? Now I was telling you if you want to pass the data from the browser as a query string, that also you can do. Let me show you how. Imagine instead of hard coded three, you want to pass it from the browser itself. Okay. Then you can connect to that some other screen so that you can pass the roll number also. Let me show you in the edit here. Uh, where is that? Controller display create edit. This one I am talking about line number 73. Suppose I do not want to hard code it. I want to take that roll number from screen. Then it is again one query string parameter. Remember. Okay. That makes sense. Now it will say that why it is null. Are you collecting something or not? Okay. It is can I say it is showing ROLL is not null here and you are passing null. But first thing is this role is my string data, right? So if this ROLL is getting collected, then do not you think here you have to convert it to um, integer? So you can say like this if string dot little bit extra as a developer you have to give the uh, separate side code always right it's not that it will not work if i'll directly go here and say convert dot to int 32 absolutely it will work no problem but who knows if it is null then converting null to integer what do you mean so i can say like this if i'm not telling it's a process but Anytime you are developing something, this kind of things also may come null check and all. So, I will say if string dot is null or empty, string dot is null or empty of ROLL and give a negation symbol at the beginning, okay, not string dot is null or empty, then uh, collect into an integer variable. Suppose integer r equal to 0 and I say r equal to convert dot 2 in 32 of r o l l. Make sense? And here I will pass that r. That means safer side always if somebody is passing, it will be that roll number. If somebody is not passing, it will be 0 and 0 will not be available of course. Then it will be null and it will not show any data. Something like that. Okay. So, uh, yesterday we have seen something called view bag, right? If you want to give further user friendliness in this case, even you can check like this. If, okay, if student not equal to null okay student not equal to null then only return this otherwise okay else you can say view bag in fact, view bag, view data, many things are there. I will teach you separately, but just for now, just say view bag dot information equal to, um, I will say invalid roll number. Make sense? These are all not under, you say, crude operation or anything. These are all common sense. By null value came means my user ID password is wrong, na? So or roll number is wrong. Na? So why should I? pass some data. So, I will simply say invalid this and finally, I will say return view just like this return view without any data. So, return view. That means, if really not null pass it, if uh, null return view or sometimes you can return view here you can say new repository student that means just create one blank object and pass it i don't have any data like this also you can pass so these are all we can say not part of our 
to dystopic it is common sense of c sharp okay something you are going to display it is null just check one small if condition who cares right that will be always user friendly to um, system now let me flow completely so what is this edit na so let's go to edit and uh, pass that first of all it will take zero guys if i'll put a breakpoint here because first time i'm not passing any data so it will be zero or you can give some default valid roll number also like last time we gave 3 as a default valid roll number that means my meaning is now if nobody is giving any roll number take 3 if somebody is passing roll number take that value okay so just like i gave 3 as the default but if something has come here not equal to null then give that to this r if something has not come take as a default roll number 3 so see what happens so this time if i'll pass roll number from the browser then it will take that roll number if i'll not pass anything it will take 3 as roll number since you have already null checked you can pass 0 also but only thing is first time it will say invalid roll number something like that so i want to say first time display roll number 3 guy detail and if i'm passing here some data just like this you know i can say um what you are doing there exact same syntax you have to write here you are saying capital small letter r o l l right uh, where is that edit ah uh, string small r o l l so here also you have to say question mark small r o l l this question mark with something is called query string so you can say question mark r o l l equal to uh imagine i am going to pass 4 is 4 available check it out 4 is d d d so i am just passing 4 as a input from the url today i am passing from url hard coded if i will connect this url to some other menu i can pass from screen also so check it out can i see now it came for if somebody is passing from the browser my coding says that is having more preference so now r value is how much 4 instead of 3 so this will go and based on 4 it should display the data like this you can manage your code also so this is called query string parameter query string parameter just for testing purpose we hard coded and use it but if you want to use any separate screen where you can say that okay i have another test box i will pass that you know roll number and then that will plug as a query string parameter there absolutely fine i will show you that also how you can pass from some other screen like imagine one beginning screen is there where you have one test box in that test box you are typing roll number 4 then you are clicking show data something like that then from there how to plug that roll number to query string that also we'll see we have something called state management there i can show you how dynamically we can prepare this query string parameter also now ddd cam now i want to say it as uh, dinesh or something and i will click on update as usual it should update it i think breakpoint we have just simply click on continue continue and continue so ddd become dinesh now like this you can do okay so any question guys